the sewage. Hi. So here we have ne nebari wa suke ashi ashi um atoshi ashi atoshi dori. Ah, uh, um, that's a good guess. It's um, I was about to say ashi, but it's actually probably um ta tashi tuke tashi, which is weird, hard to say tuke tashi dori. Tuke tashi. Suketashi dori. Um, no. Ka kata kata. Um, machi do. Kata do. Aka... Sa Saka do. Saka machi. Saka machi o. Saka machi o. Kawa made. Orite ita. Hi. So, uh, machi, ma, ma, machi means city. What is street? Uh, machi is city, so Hi. street is um, street is um, mi michi, michi. Hi, michi. So it's saka michi. Saka michi. Hi. Saka michi o. Oh. Kawa Kawamade Ori Orite Ita. I went down. I the street up I? river. Uh Neburi. Neburi went down the 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 Sakamachi. Went down the side street. Oh went down the hill the hill street. Or the hill road up to the river, Hi. or arrive at the river. Probably down to the river uh, since it's Oriru. Um, does this hill road have a down. name? The hill road is Suke Tashi Dori. Perfect. The street of Suke Tashi, meaning leg attach. No, um, ta uh. It does have a tash, but tashi is like from tasa means to add. So it just says attaching, adding. It's nonsensical. It's like plus plus street. Tashi dori. Plus street. Plus plus. <laughs> to add on. Yep. Adding, adding street. Um, and then this say kono kawa ni wa Namae ga aru aruba nai. Aru no kamoshidai. Aru no kamoshidai. I'm sorry, skip. Aru no kamoshirenai ga. Mina kawa toshi ka yoba nai. Yoba nai. Yoba nai. Negative yobu. Did not call Toshika. Yobanai. Did not call. Did not call. Eh, Minna. Everyone. Toshika. Simply, they call it Kawa. Minna. Kawa. Toshika. Or some. Or only just. Everyone Hi. just call it Kawa. Shika. And then the negative form, Yobanai. Meaning. Well, that's because we have Shika here. So you already did the everyone sentence. Just call it. So literally says right. um, other than and, and, kawa, it's not called anything else by everyone. Let's call anything else. Other than kawa, kawa toshika, they call not they didn't call it anything else. And then kamoshira naiga namae ga aru, the name it it have a name, it had a namae ga aru. There exists a name, no meaning the nominalizing that that thing kamoshira nai is perhaps uh got however so ha, ha, it, there perhaps exists a name however everyone just call it kawa right regarding this river kono kawa niwa uh kawa niwa 
at this river, Yamiyobashi Ga Kakari. There, there's a bridge on top of this river, and it's called Yamiyoba. Uh, I'm sorry, it's called the bridge. The bashi, the bridge is is named Yamiyo, Hi. meaning the the twilight, the twilight bridge. Uh, uh dark night bridge. Bashi no bashi. Dark night bridge. Yami. Yami yo. Uh, bashi no. What is it at the bridge? It's Kandan or something hill. Kaida. Tandan. Tandan uh, what? Something it, it's hill. The, it's not hill. That word you're looking at means opposite shore. Kaigan. Kai is opposite and Taigan. gan is kishi for um, shores. So basically, we're talking about sure. a hashi, Ta and hashis have um two hashis. Um, Hi. so there's this kishi and the tai kishi. Tai kishi. So tai kishi wa. So across from the other side of the bridge. Hi. So it's bashi no tai kishi wa. There's akebo no guy. Is the Don District, the Akebo no Gai. Hi, where is the Don District? On the other side, it's Tai Kishi. Hi. Tai um, Kishi. Ba the, other uh, bashi no ta the other side of the bridge. Yeah. Of the Bashi. What's on this side of the bridge? That's a context question. I'm guessing, um, I'm guessing, uh, Taso got it. Yes, guy. Taso got it. Tasu got it. And the other side is Akebo no guy. Uh, Yami yo bashi. The, the, the dark night bridge. No ue no um, sayu ni. Uh, tachi na, naraba, narabu. Tachi narabu. Se no pakai. Yeah, 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 wa. I, iren, iren ni zurato. Um, zurato. Narande kawa o wata, wataro. To hishi me kim atte iru o. It is actually it, it looks like large. It looks like uh, big ladies. Right. They, 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 they exist. Good guess. So it's actually hishimeki atteru, which is... um. A phrase that means um to be kind of crowded together. Um Hishime Hishimeki Atteru Hishimeki Atteru to be crowd together. The large woman that crowds together. Um I I Ireni I Ireni in, in one line. Ireni yes, Sirato. Ichiretsu in one line in single file. Right. Ichiretsu zirato. I'm guessing zirato is it's it's um orderly or yeah. or next to one another. Yep. Narande, like one by one. Zirate narande, they line up. Uh, and then the kawa o, something is done to the kawa. Yes. Uh, wa. Wataro. Wataro is cross. Yes. Cross, but in the imperative. It's not so, imperative form. That is incorrect. I, I... Wataro? Yep. Wataru wataroto. and wataro. That is not imperative form. Wataro is, um, wataru is to cross. Yes. To cross some. So wataro, wataro is volitional. I, I'm crossing. Right. Yep. 
No. We are crossing. Is it? Yep. Rotational form. We are. We are Who crossing. is crossing in this clause? Uh, yeah. Is it the ie ye or the onantachi? Who is crossing? Oh, oh, onantachi. Hi, the onantachi. The onantachi are crossing. Onna Correct. So what does? Tachi. Why is there a yeah, yeah. ie ye wa right here? Yeah, yeah, but like house by house. That's a good guess, but it just house means houses. House. Mitai. The houses are like. Yes, the houses are like the, women doing what? The houses are like women, uh, hishimeki atteru, crowded together. The crowd, the women crowded together. Gotta like say the these faster. Who, who so we got we got three things these women are chewing. They are narande, wataro. And hishimeki atteru. What are the three things these Hi. women are doing that the houses so, look like? The women, ichiretsu ni, zuratto narande, they line up orderly. Yep. They ka kawa o wata o they they cross they crosses the um the river, right. and they talk. And they he he she make him atari atari iru. They they bunch together. Nice woman. Tachimi tai. It seems that way. Right. And the ie ie wa are um se no takai. They are tall houses, and they are tachi narabu. They stand, but they stand in narabu. So I don't know what that means. They. Tachi and then not It doesn't have the kanji because this book sometimes doesn't have kanji for compound words. Um, but narande right. is narabu. That is the same word. It's just been conjugated. Ah. Uh, uh, hi. So narande. So narabu. They stand in in file. In in they stand in line. On the side you need on left and right. Ue no saiyu on the top of the left and on the top left and right on the top of the bashi that name yami yo yami yo bashi no ue no saiyu ni on the left and right of the bridge. Right. Tachi narabu stand in line. Se no takai ye ye wa houses that are tall. Ichiretsu ni in a single file. Zuratto narande lining up. Uh, kawa o wataro cross the river. To ishimeki atte iru o onna tachi mitai. Da. To the top of this bridge, Kawaga Go Go To Oto O Tate Te Tate Te Ikio Yo Yoku Nagare Te Iru. Hi, can you say bridge for me again? River. Uh, the river, the river. Um, to the to the top of this bridge, the river. It go go to. In 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 a, vi I'm I don't know. Go, uh, pause. Go, guessing um, violence. So or... pause. I think my internet's bad. For <laughs> it's hard for you to hear me. But how do you say bridge for me again? Bashi. So bashi, which is how it's read in this word, is actually an example of rendaku. This is thus combining things together. So rather than bashi, bridge is actually hashi. Ha. Hashi. 
The second thing is we have a comma right here. Commas are very interesting in Japanese because you can use them like commas are used in English, which is to separate things really aggressively from each other. So when you see a comma where there shouldn't really be a comma, so not after wa or ga, basically, that normally means this is telling you something that we're actually going to skip the next section, basically. So the next section here is kawa ga go go to oto tatete. That is our section right here. So this kama means skip that. This is a part of the next thing, which is iki o yoku nagarete iru. So it actually says kono hashi no shita o iki o yoku nagarete iru. Rather than having the o being connected to uh, so tateru. Hi. So, sono hashi no ue o to the top of this bridge. Mm, Iki o yoku ue. That's oh, actually shika. Hi. Shita. Sono hashi no shita o at the bottom of the bridge or to the hai. bottom of the Under bridge. Under the bridge. Iki o yoku. Ikioi yoku. Um, uh, uh, ikioi is like terrified. It it's something that scares you. Good yoku guess. is it's well is a lot. Ikioi yoku means vigorously. Vigorously flow. Vic vigorously flowing. Right. Um, under the bridge. And that which flowing on the bridge is Kagawa. I mean Kawaga, the river. And it flows in what way? It described as go go to oto 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 o tatete. It 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 produces the sound go go. Perfect. It it flows in such a way that produces the sound go go. Nebari wa ba neba nebari wa ie ye ni hasamareta kurai um yami yo bashi o um uh saki hmm to you are married Sento. yep Tate Susunde Ita Susunde is yep, to continue. Susunde. Hi, he is going forward. Going forward towards the 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 leader. Sentoni so tate susunde ita. Sentoni tate. He who leads the front. Yes. So who is leading? Follow. Neburi, nebari wa. Nebari is leading as he susundeita, which is continuing forward. What do you think is continuing forward on? You're continuing forward the yamiyobashi, the bridge. Yeah, he's continuing, continuing forward on the bridge. He continues. What and about this are... bridge? What information bridge... do we have? Hi, it's yeah, yeah, ni. How's it? Houses. Uh, hasamareta. Hasamareta. Kurai. Dark. Right. Dark in what way? In samarare. Uh, hasamareta is actually a relative clause. And relative clauses actually only describe nouns. They don't try describe adjectives. So this is not describing kurai. Because kurai is a adjective. Uh, um, describe... So we basically so bashi... have an and here. Ha... Hasamareta. So it's the houses that hasamareta. Or yes. Ha... Hasamareta. 
Yeah, yeah, me. Yeah, so the houses that do what to the bridge, it's. So this is the word we saw, hasamu, the house which was earlier used when the main character was making a sandwich with his muffins. He hasamud some cheese inside of the um muffin. So it was cheese yo hasamu. So this is hasamareru, areru. So it's passive. So it Hi. now is saying that the houses are squishing are the so rather than saying to put cheese in between, it is saying the houses are being are squishing the bridge. The bridge is in between the houses. Hi. The bridge is it's in between the houses. Hi. And that is dark. Dark bridge. And Neveri is cross is continuing while leading while it's in the lead. Hi. Um talk afterward. Hashino Chu uh this kanji mean on the way. Yes, it starts with a to I forgot the word. Told you. Told you that. Fui ni. Ie to ie no. Uh, my no. Se mai suki ma ni. Uh, ite iku. Is it ite iku? Ni ite iku. Nope. The subject. Why did you think it was ni itekuru? Why would you think that? You think sukima ni ite is a yeah. I lost track of the subject. That's why I even without the subject, I... you should know how this is read. Because we say sukima ni it's it can't be ite. There, there's no reason that that would be an idiom, right? The rule is this is only read as e, iru, when um it is a idiom like kinita to be interested in something. So you see a ki there, but there's no real reason for sukima to be a part of an idiom. Uh, so you should without context, you should know it's haiteita. Um, so this one you also read wrong. You saw it, read it as my meaning in front, but this doesn't mean in front. This is the um, ma part of sukima. Any guesses how it's read? Um, aida. It is aida, correct. So speaking of that one thing, um, a while ago I was talking about um, with you about um, that reading of that word. So it's aida when it's on its own, but it's actually ma. When you got two single root readings. So suki is a gap in something. This is the kanji. So suki ma, using suki from suki, that is the friends with benefit reading. Same with hiruma, right? Because hi, uh, hiroma from hiroi, right? So the other one, kan, is like jikan, right? With toki. So I just thought I'd point that out because I remember I told you the wrong thing because I was guessing randomly. <laughs> but the rule is uh, the marriage, single, and then um, friends with benefit readings. So there's three for this kanji. Um, so that was a random thing. I just wanted to say, since I remember I told you that wrong. <laughs> anyway, um, so the subject of this paragraph is nebari. Hi. So, um, renchu, renchu there on the way. Tochu. Hi. Tochu, tochu there. Hashi no tochu there on the way across the bridge. Hi. Ui ni. 
What does this mean? Hi, so earlier yay. you've seen oh, we need to get. We need to get. We need to get. It's something you've seen before. Um, I think it was actually to using um passive form, is what was in this book. This means to um be attached or to go to attach. Fui. Fui means surprise. Fui ni tuku, to attach with surprise. So this is a way to say totozen or suddenly. So here it says, Fui ni ye to ye no. I don't know, say my sip. What is this? Sorry. If you look, if you look, we got so many nice little particles here, right? So we know this is describing these. These are connected. This is describing that. That's describing that. That's describing that. What's our verb here? Where is it? The verb is eat that. Iku. Is that verb actually a little bit longer than iku to go? Hi, iku is to go. Yes, but is the all is the so, verb the sentence here to go, or is iku doing a grammatical function here? Iku is the grammatical function. So so it means leaving the current location. So what is the actual verb here? Is eat is eat that? Nope, eat that is not in the sentence. Iru is not a verb in Japanese. There's no verb in Japanese that is iru written with the haidu kanji. There is idioms with iru in it, and there are words like nouns such as iriguchi, but there is no verb. There's no verb that is iru. That is not a verb in modern Japanese. That's like saying thou is a word in today's Japanese. No, but if you're doing Shakespeare, thou might possibly pop up. But you're not going to be seeing thou. It's probably the, right? It's not the, it's the. That's I... the is old Japanese. So they're probably not saying that. So you should assume unless um, it doesn't make so... any sense that it's an idiom. So this, we're taking the literal meaning of the verb. It's not an idiom. Like, kinita, that means to be interested in. That's, that has nothing to do with haidu, which means to enter, right? There, there's a Hi. thing going on there that's not the literal meaning of the verb. Hi. So the verb here is to enter, haidu. Yes. So Haidu, where do you think he's entering? Is he entering toward the Fui or the Sukima? What would be your guess? Both are marked by me. We say that Fui is the surprise, right? It Mommy? is surprise. Is he entering surprise or is he entering a Sukima? It cannot be answer surprise because oh, Fui oh. ni is an is an adjective describing the Sukima. Uh, specifically, it is actually a adverb describing the verb. <laughs> so it says, suddenly he enters. Oh, suddenly. Fui ni is suddenly. Yeah, because fui is sudden. So he suddenly enters. Adverb marker. Hi. The sukima is the. Semai sukima. Sukima means semai gap. Semai is the adjective. Yes. Sukima is the gap. Hi, hi. The ma is the gap. The suki is the 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 hole. You, you typed it out earlier. Right. So sukima is the gap, and the gap is described as being semai. Right. And which gap is he entering? Which? Ie to ie no. Uh, uh, Aida, Hi. the space in between the houses. Yes, so he enters a small gap, which is a space Semai. between two houses suddenly. And I'm guessing semi mean narrow. Yes, it does mean narrow. Yeah, perfect. The narrow gap in between houses. Hi, and susunde. How is susunde different than tsuzuku? Susunde. 
Suzuki. Suzuki. Susunde is to continue to advance. Hi. It has a forward Suzuki. momentum. Yes. Suzuki is just continuing in general. Uh, it's it's, it's kind of like mama, but mama is a noun. You mean continuing present it's stated been... condition. But yeah, Susunde is continuing forward. He's moving forward. So that was our halfway point. So we're going to stop sharing here. And I'll see you in two seconds.